guys, welcome to Honestly English. I am your host, Jessica Beck, and today I have a very special guest, my son James. Hello. Um, we are going to teach you slang and idioms that we all use instead of saying something is easy. Um, James, what is easy for you? Easy is not complex, very simple. You know, not having to do much at all. <laughs> totally. So watching, like watching action movies, easy. Easy peasy. Yeah. Easy. We're gonna recommend a really good action movie in just a minute, guys, at the end of the video. Uh, before we get to the vocabulary, however, I wanna remind you about two more ways you can learn awesome stuff from me. Um, first of all, Honestly membership. I'll give you a audio, transcript, and IELTS style listening quiz every Friday. Go to my website to sign up for that, honestlyenglish.com. And remember, sign up for my new course, How to Swear Like a Native. These are phrases that James cannot say, but you as an adult can't see. He's yawning. He doesn't like swearing, and he shouldn't. But <laughs> As an adult. I do like swearing. I want to be able to swear. Okay, kids do want to be able to swear. <laughs> that's true. But I don't let him yet. But you can because you're an adult student. So look at the link below this video, guys, in the description and check out my new course. Okay, let's get to it. So the first way we say something is um, easy is to say it's a cakewalk. Um, I think a lot of people still say something's a piece of cake. Do you say that? Uh, I mean, I myself don't say it that much. I think it's something that people say in movies. <laughs> I've heard it in movies, like, too many times. That is the key. Too many times, guys. That idiom is old and boring, okay? Don't say something's a piece of cake. But if you say something is a cakewalk, that's more interesting, right? Um, but let me tell you, this idiom has nefarious origins, all right? So maybe you'll think twice before you use it. So in pre-Civil War days, the slaves on a plantation were forced to be in a contest of sorts. They would have to do this special walk, this special dance, and as a prize, they would get this elaborately decorated cake. So that's where the phrase cakewalk comes from. So uh, judge yourself if you want to use it. Um, I think the most common thing I say if something is easy, I say it's easy peasy. Do I say that a lot? You say that a lot. <laughs> you say that a lot. Um, it's really common and it's just fun because it rhymes. It just means something is cool and easy. Um, to make something easy by taking a shortcut is to cut corners. So like... If you're doing a project and you skip a couple steps because you just want to finish it, that means you're cutting corners. So if you cut corners, the final product is probably isn't the highest quality because you didn't yeah. do everything. My teacher in second grade she used to always tell us to not cut corners. She, she wouldn't say exactly that, but she would tell us to not do that on our writing because lots of us, uh, lots of the students, they would write super sloppy and big, and they would get like four pages. Yeah, see, you can't do that. Yeah, no, don't cut corners, whether you're in second grade or an adult. Um, to make something more simple. Now, here's an idiom to square the circle. It means to like explain something, to clarify it in an easy way. Now, I had a student ask me about this and honestly, like I've never said to square a circle. I looked it up and it is in a couple New York Times articles that I found, but other than that guys, like I, we don't really use that. Um, okay, easy money. <laughs> This is a cool phrase. You might hear my dog eating in the background. Easy money. Easy money is when you earn money for doing something super easy and super simple. So like, um, do you, is there any easy money for you? Um. Well, like making lunch, you made lunch today. That was oh, easy yeah, money. Oh yeah, that was, that was easy money. We all got easy money walking a dog. Yeah. 10 days, got 200 bucks. Yeah, this little friend of ours, his neighbor paid him $200 to just like walk her dog for 10 days. So that was easy money, totally. Yeah. Um, the last phrase, guys, if you, if you like explain how something is easy, you can emphasize that fact by saying, bada bing, bada boom, at the end of it. So the beginning, bada bing, um, it was popularized bada in the boom, Godfather bada movie. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> so it's like, um, James is like, 
okay, so how are we gonna do this YouTube video? And I'm like, oh, we'll just think of some phrases, do a little research, and bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom, easy peasy, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's a ham, born entertainer. Okay, guys, before we recommend to you, the pop culture. I want to remind you to sign up for my course, How to Swear Like a Native. I'm very proud of this, guys. I'm very proud of this. You get the origins, the modern contexts, over 130 mm -hmm. vocabulary phrases. So again, guys, sign up. It's amazing. All right, so pop culture R&R. &R. Now, if your brain is tired, right, and you want like something easy to do at night, some easy entertainment, action movies. Action movies! The story is never super complicated, usually, yeah. and it's just like a visual feast for your eyes. Yeah. So, what did we watch last night? Watch Godzilla, and our eyes got fat. And our eyes got fat. I mean, you said it was a the feast. visual feast. The yes. Visual feast. That works. We got fat <laughs> eyes. We got fat eyes. Big fat pie eyes. Our eyes like pie. So guys, Godzilla came out in 2014. Now, of course, there have been a lot of different Godzilla movies. And like, there's a new one, the, the new one. We're going to see that on Sunday. Yeah, that's why we watched the other one last night, to prepare ourselves for the new one on Sunday. And but the 2014 one, guys, is amazing. The it's real good. The kaiju in this, right, the monsters, Godzilla, and then, like, the moth thing, they're oh. so cool. And the fights between them, oh! The, the moth thing is called the Moto. Moto, no, Moda, Muda, Mudo. I, I don't remember. I have no idea. But we we kept like messing it up. It's a spider thing like, that has wings and stuff. It's rad, guys. Like, total visual feast. And uh -huh. plus it has Brian Cranston. Fat eyes. Fat eyes. And Brian Cranston is such a talented actor, you guys. So both of us highly recommend the movie Godzilla from 2014. Um, okay, guys. So if you enjoyed today's lesson, if you learned something, we want other people to learn as well. So please share this video on Instagram any social media you possibly can help us spread the word of honestly english and our message right to teach english honestly how natives really speak so thanks for watching you guys i'll see you next week remember fat eyes nobody really says that we just what? made that up i i, I want to say fat eyes i want to say fat eyes no bye what